So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your content from your Insta360 X3 to your mobile phone. So first things first, you're gonna make sure that you have downloaded the Insta360 app to your Apple Android phone. I've already got this, so I'm gonna open that up. Make sure your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned on. And then you're gonna turn your camera on and we can connect two devices. So to connect with devices, you're gonna click this yellow button at the bottom of your screen on your phone. Your phone should recognize your camera straight away. So you can tap to wake up, it will connect to your device. Click join. Okay, so now we are connected up. Now what we wanna do is we want to go to albums. In there, you will see a list of all the current content that is on the micro SD card that's in your camera. To transfer content and save it to your phone, you simply want to click the video or photograph that you want to save to your phone. And then you are in Insta360's mobile editing app. Now from here, we have the option of simply exporting it as it is without doing any editing, which I wouldn't recommend, but you can do that if you'd like. I personally would do a number of different edits to this video. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna click auto and let's just see what Insta360 comes up with with its AI generated video. So this is all created by AI, I haven't done anything. Obviously it looks a little bit weird because um, it's a mountain biking point of view video. So ideally you'd always want the camera facing the same way. So yeah, it's a little bit different. But again, it just shows you one of the cool ways that you can create cool edits. To save it to your phone, you will simply then select the file here, click export, and then click save to your phone album, and then click export. I probably would just go auto for now. I will do another video on export settings in the future, and then it will export to your phone. It may take a little bit of time, depending on how big your file is. And once it's saved, it should be in your photos album, or wherever you save it to, and there it is. Again, this is not the best edit, but I'm just showing you how to get your content from your Insta360 camera to your phone. Obviously, if you're transferring photos from your camera to your phone, it'd be a lot simpler because you won't have to do any editing. You'll literally import it into the app, do whatever edits you want, or even just save it straight to your phone and then edit it in a platform like Lightroom or Snapseed or something like that. But I hope this tutorial was useful. Drop a comment below if you need any help with this and make sure you go and grab my video settings cheat sheet, which I've all got my settings in which is here and the link will be in the description. See you in the next tutorial.